Hi guys, my name is Marnice and welcome to my creative life. Today I just wanted to go and share with you two big portraits that I did on my own. I have done two other portraits that are about this size but they were done in a paint night which was so fun. I definitely recommend it and they were step-by-step -step instructions given amongst wine and good times and fun. I had a blast. I love how the paintings came out especially because I feel like the instructors not only wanted you to enjoy yourselves but they wanted you to feel accomplished at the end of the night they wanted you to say oh my god I created this I painted this and I did it kind of tipsy <laughs> so it was a ball I'll one day um show you those paintings I love paint night and I'll I'll definitely the next time I go to paint night um bring back home what I did with the whole story night um however this is something I did on my own it's inspired by 12 rooms with a view which is a fiction novel that I absolutely adored I gave it five stars on Goodreads and it inspired this whole concept it was awesome so much character development I was so invested in the novel and after I put it down I was so invested kind of in the imagery that I took away from that book and especially the color the tones really intrigued me and I really tried to replicate that in this portrait. Um, it took me a while to figure it out. I worked on this for several days. I'm really specifically proud of this kind of arm section. I love how I was able to create these shadows, mixing the grays, um, getting that shadow that she was kind of set up. I love how the glove came out. I'm just especially proud of just this section. I love how this part, you can tell that this is a woman's figure. You kind of see the shadows, the, the underside of the breast, the clothing stands out. I really love it. Of course, as you can see the book image right here, I changed the hair. I changed the color tones, but it was kind of the inspiration that I took from the, the book, how I felt after I read the book that really inspired this painting. Here's one final look. If you can see at the top, I did drip a little paint. I kind of, at the last minute, wanted to add some kind of abstractness. I really wanted it to kind of not just be about the girl in the painting. She's sipping tea. <laughs> she is surrounded by rains and kind of drowning out in color, which I really like that. Um, it, it came out better than I expected, quite honestly. So here we go. Um, no name yet still, but this is something I worked of on and I'm really proud of. And it was only just a couple of weeks ago. The final large scale photo that I've done is this radiant, brilliant woman on the page. I was really, really inspired by the palette knife this time around. I watched a video online where um, an artist, and I'll link her channel down below, I can't recall her name right here, but um, she did a painting, I'll just insert the name right here. She did a painting um, of a cityscape, but she did it with her palette knife. And that just image of her painting with the palette knife, the lines that she was creating, um, that sort of thing, it really inspired me. So I picked up my palette knife and I'd already painted the, the back um, background with this nice red um, color and then I decided to take up the majority of this painting with the palette knife. I did use I did use gel medium um, for the top layer. Um, the background is just a regular red crimson red mixed with um, some whites and some yellow highlights but for the female I did use the the gel medium because I really kind of wanted the texture I just figured out what gel medium is quite honestly when I started this painting I hadn't realized that it it builds texture so I've never worked with texture before this painting at all um so if I zoom in close here. You can definitely see kind of the raisedness, the texture here, and I love how that came out. I went back in once I've gotten my shape down, and I didn't use a model for this at all. I just kind of imagined what a, what a female face looked like and started from there. I followed strict lines with a palette knife, and then I went back and I felt like the character needed some detailing um not too much happy with the bangs however i love how the actual face came out um with that highlighting there you can distinctly tell that this is a female i feel like she is surrounded by light and she's very angelic looking 
which I kind of really adore. I love the color palette that I use, which I really didn't mean to use. I used yellow and white. And since I had red, I decided to add that as well. And I just, again, adore how this came out. I feel like this is like one of my best paintings so far. I do love the previous one I just showed you. Um, this one I've dubbed Sunshine. That's the name of the painting. I feel like she is the sunshine girl. I really, I really love it. I don't know what else to say about it. I'm really glad that I started working with the gel medium. I feel like I want to do more with the gel medium. I did do one other photo. If you can see, if you can see right here, I did do one more attempt with the gel medium. And this is on one of those smaller, smaller portraits that I did on an artist pad with just some gesso on top. I'm just going to focus in here and you can see just kind of the texture for the photo. I really, really love how I did the scarf um, jacket combo. Again, I didn't use a model for this. I kind of just imagined what a girl would do. And I'm really liking the style of outlining after I've put down those colors, but not physically just creating every line. It doesn't need to be exaggerated. I love the colors, um, kind of the mystery here. I need to get better with hair, I've decided um, so far. Um, but again, I love the texture that Gel Medium has and I really look forward to working with it again. So all in all, these are the portraits that I've been working on. I'm happy with my progress. It's been about since February that I've been painting um, the two paint nights that I had in February, the portraits that I did in March and April. It's May now, May 2nd, and I'm just so excited to be painting. I went and got a whole bunch of materials. I went and got a whole bunch of brushes. And so I'm ready to get started. I'm ready to do this. Um, I will again be sharing my journey. Thanks for watching. Um, please comment, give me some feedback. I really wanna know um, what you think about these larger paintings. What areas do you think I should focus on? Um, do you like them <laughs> at all? Please, seriously, I'm really trying to teach myself how to paint successfully. I want to know any tips. Is there a specific way you should be working with gel medium? I just grabbed it, I picked it up, and I started using it. Um, if you have any tips, definitely go ahead, leave them down below. Every comment, seriously, I'd be so thankful for. Anyway, again, my name is Marnese. This is my creative life, and I'll be back next time. Bye.